So I was watching Escapism yesterday, and I watched the episode with everything, you know, um, and it wasn't all what it was cracked up to be, honestly, a lot of people agree with me too, a lot of people were saying that this episode wasn't, like, all that epic, uh, not trying to be rude or anything, you know, not trying to talk about the episode, you know, not trying to complain or anything, saying that it's just terrible, I mean, seeing the watermelon people again, was a good thing, because we haven't seen them in a while, but I feel like, you can't throw a white diamond, the reveal of white diamond, the person we've been waiting to see forever, and then just, this, like, and a lot of other people were disappointed too, or, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was disappointed, more so just, surprised, because one, I wasn't expecting, um, the Watermelon Stevens, you know, I wasn't expecting for them to go on Mask Island or anything, I wasn't expecting for Steven to go there, but, <clears throat> one, that was unexpected. When he said he was contacting people for help, he technically did do that, but there was obstacles and stuff in his way, like sharks and thunderstorms and just pretty much everything you could name that got in Steven's way for contacting help, and I just thought it was a little chaotic, but at the same time, they needed to fill up the episode. Again, I'm not saying that this was a bad episode or anything, I'm just saying... I don't understand how you could see an episode so great, like, together alone with all the epicness. You just poof everybody in the company, and then just, booyah, watermelon people. Like, and I feel like, I don't even think he tried to go into a watermelon Steven on purpose. I think that was by mistake, by trying to go to Earth and contact Bismuth. He just happened to go into a watermelon Steven, because he could do that. And I felt like... Even though it's been a while since we've seen them, and I feel like that's all we really needed for right now, since we are going to get the Battle of Heart and Mind, I still feel like more could have happened, you know, but now that I've gotten that all out of my system, I do want to talk about the foreshadowing that everybody's been talking about, about White Diamond here. So, I don't really fully understand the whole Watermelon Island concept, because this episode did just drop yesterday, um, but everybody's been talking about White Diamond in here, so when I first saw this episode... And I saw those little statues, which I think honor the king. They all walk in this, like, T-posing form, kind of like White Diamond. And, you know, and that's, like, the first thing I realized. This looks similar. Like, this is similar to, um, um, from what White Diamond usually, like, her stands. So, you know, that's the first thing that came to mind. And then I'm scrolling around, you know, and I even heard one of my friends tell me that, um, there's a foreshadowing. Because, I mean... I'm always hearing things either on, like, you know, out in the internet, on YouTube and stuff about people, like, talking about stuff like this, or just my friends. They always tell me that they see videos and stuff. Like, I always have friends that are, like, always, like, vigilant about stuff like this, you know, foreshadowings and stuff. And I happened to hear that this was a foreshadowing. I was like, I knew, I knew, I freaking knew that there was some sort of foreshadowing thing going over on here, symbolizing white diamond in some sort of way. But... Basically, there was, like, these two tribes, something like that. Again, I don't fully understand the concept, but there was, like, these two tribes or something. Uh, the tribes that had the, um, Steven, um, you know, Crystal Gem sign star. And then there was the tribes with the, um, black things under your eye. You know, kind of the thing that football players wear. Or some football players, maybe. I don't think all football players have them, but I've seen football players with them. But basically, it was like this war and war tribe thing, and a lot of people have been telling me that this is a foreshadowing of what could possibly happen in the Battle of Heart and Mind. Even though I don't think there's tribes or teams, but maybe this is symbolizing White Diamond, or all of the diamonds, since we did see Blue Diamond attack Steven in um, the Battle of Heart and Mind promo. Maybe the, all of the diamonds his time against the Crystal Gems, you know, once they reform. Even though we didn't see them in the trailer, it was more so Steven trying to get away from... And I don't think the diamonds would be teaming up because, of course, yellow is attacking blue. But then there's also the green diamond theory. I don't really know. But anyway, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more of my channel. I will be doing some more videos talking about stuff, you know, theories and stuff that will be coming around. But for right now, um, I'll be taking a break.